Well, the Zika virus is a big concern here in Central Florida because we do have the kind of mosquito here that can carry the disease. Yeah, the CDC has come out and said it's the first mosquito-borne virus that can cause birth defects. Right now, all of the cases in Florida are travel-related, but the big question is, how do we keep safe if the virus does come here? Justin Warmoth explains how one Florida research center is going full steam ahead to try to develop a cure for Zika. For researchers at the Scripps Research Center in Jupiter, studying the Zika virus is nothing new. It's been ongoing for quite a while. They say that means they have a good head start at figuring out how to beat it. We have been studying the process by which this class of virus gets into cells for some time. Most of us probably never heard of the virus a few months ago, but now Scripps is focusing most of its manpower on one single goal, finding ways to keep the Zika virus from infecting people and endangering the lives of unborn babies. We're sort of the organizing center of the sort of larger Scripps effort against Zika. The team of Zika specialists includes immunologists, medicinal chemists, and neuroscientists. They have several possible solutions they're working on. The first one to develop vaccine alternatives if other current efforts fail. The second to develop an efficient antibody against Zika. An antibody can be taken by pregnant women. An antibody can be used to protect individuals from, from going into an environment where, um, where Zika would be a problem and it can also be used to control a Zika infection once you have it. For the third part of their effort, they're working on a way to develop an oral medication to prevent infection. It involves creating something of a replica of the virus to use in test subjects. It looks a lot like Zika virus, only we've removed, we've removed the structural proteins that the virus uses to make new virus particles, and this traps the virus inside of the cell so it can never leave, it can't infect anyone. Researchers have a full library of chemicals they can test in their fight against Zika to give them the best shot of finding a way to beat this thing. So there's a good chance that we will find something, and we've found uh, other compounds for other infectious agents using this type of technology. And lastly, researchers at Scripps are looking into how Zika directly affects people, especially the development of unborn babies. The CDC now says there is little doubt the Zika virus can cause microcephaly, which can lead to skull deformities in newborns. That's one of the reasons researchers' work is so important. Now, production of a vaccine or drug could take several years because of the need for clinical trials, but the good news is a safe antibody against Zika could be within reach by the end of the year. Justin Mormouth, News 6. Now, Scripps is facing some challenges. Uh, there's not a lot of cash to fund this cause. Senator Bill Nelson is filing legislation that would provide $1.9 billion to fight the spread of the virus. We posted more info on the Zika virus on our website, including answers to some of the most asked questions. Just head to facebook.com slash news6 right now. Find that link at the top of the page.